What's going on YouTube? My name is Joseph Percher and I'd like to welcome you to the first installment of This Week in Bodybuilding. This is going to be a segment that I'm going to be hosting here on my YouTube channel where I discuss all the happenings in the bodybuilding industry. Um, I feel like as a bodybuilding fan and competitor myself, uh, our sport could always use more coverage. And uh, ideally, that coverage would be from people that have lived within this industry uh, and really lived this lifestyle for a long time. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be um, previewing and reviewing all the big shows, whether that's national level NPC shows um, or obviously the, the IFBB Pro Circuit. Um, we're going to be discussing anything that is going on within the bodybuilding world, anything that I feel... Uh, is worth addressing and, and sharing my opinion on. So uh, just this past week, we had the uh, Yamamoto Cup. I believe it was held in Italy. Um, and we have a top five of uh, Vlad in first. Mohamed Elaman came in second. Andrea Muzi came in third. Uh, Jamie Joe Hall, Jamie the Giant fourth. And uh, Roman Fritz came in fifth. So... Uh, general thoughts for as far as um, Vlad, the winner, he's excellent. Uh, he packs a ton of muscle uh, and he's conditioned and grainy. So, um, you know, I really think about bodybuilding and, and judging in terms of three main criteria where uh, you have muscularity, you have shape, and you have conditioning. Um, now, Vlad's shape maybe isn't the prettiest, especially especially. Uh, kind of a wider, longer midsection, uh, but he does appear to do a good job controlling it. And then when you have so much muscle with some of the best conditioning on the stage, um, you're going to be hard to ignore. So, um, you know, his color was on the money. His skin has a kind of a clear, transparent look to it, which is, which is a underrated uh, piece of bodybuilding. And now I'll say I'm just reviewing this um, online, you know, with the photo. So um, being there in person is is much different. But it does seem to me, from what I saw, he was uh, a fair winner, a uh, deserving winner. Um, and second, Mohamed Alaman. Um, again, I'm not there. I'm not sure for my taste that this would have been a second place physique in this show. Um, I would say. So looking at the top five, all these guys are in shape. There's no doubt about it. I would say out of the top five, he's maybe the uh, least impressive as far as conditioning and muscularity from behind. Um, but good shape, good muscularity, um, overall a good package. Um, probably, like I said, not not my choice for second. Um, but then also when when looking at the comparison to Andre Muzi, who finishes third. Um, I think Muhammad has more muscle. He has better skin. This is something that I'm noticing on uh, Muzi is that there's, uh, it looks like real scarring or acne going on all up and down the posterior chain. And even being in good conditioning, that usually is a sign. I mean, your skin is, is the biggest organ um, in your body. So when your skin starts to reject you, that's usually a telltale sign. There's, there's some underlying issues and you wind up just having like an oily inflamed look to, to the skin, um, which does, which does come through on stage. So, um, you know, I think, I think a good placing here for Andrea, I'm a little biased. I'm a big fan of Jamie, uh, Jamie, the giant and of Romans. Um, I worked with the animal brand for years and, and got to interact with Roman and always, um, always had a lot of respect for him as a bodybuilder. And I like the look that he brings. Um, he, so as far as Roman goes, he's by far the most peeled guy on the stage. Um, better than I think what we saw in Tampa. And from what I was hearing, um, it's just a matter of Roman just over dieting him himself or, not being able to put a halt on the the body the body weight loss, um, I think we saw him. Man, I, I remember seeing pictures of him somewhere around like two eighty, and feeling like he didn't really have much more to go. And looking back at that, I would say at worst 
you know, he, he could have come down to 260. I believe his weight in Tampa was somewhere around 240, and Roman's a tall guy. So he winds up looking thin, thin there. Um, I think he did bring a fuller look here, and the conditioning is still just out of this world. Um, so, so he winds up fifth. So I'm a big fan of his. I, I wouldn't have mind seeing him um, maybe in third or maybe in fourth with Jamie uh, ahead um, of Andrea in third. Jamie continues to impress me and continue to get bigger. That's a huge frame to fill out. And every time I see him get on stage, he looks more and more complete and um, he looks less thin each time I see him on stage. Now, I believe Jamie is six foot five. So it takes an inordinate amount of muscle to make that frame look like a bodybuilder up there on stage uh, with other professional bodybuilders who are coming in at, you know, six feet or less. So, um, man, he's got such a, he, he's such a orange in a, in a pack of apples, um, where he's such an individual physique. I almost could see, I mean, there's a couple shots from him in prejudging where they put him in the middle of that top five call out. And he looks like a winner, um, because the physique is so different from the other four. So, um, overall, I think a good showing from all these gentlemen that were in the top five, um, for my money, I probably would have had Vlad winning, mm, probably could have had Jamie even as high as second Roman as high as third, um, Muhammad fourth. And then I probably would have had Andrea fifth just for, uh, the skin being so such a glaring issue. And then also he does look a lo little undersized compared to some of these guys, especially in the lower half. Um, but with that said, I think a, a good showing, um, just for, for open pro bodybuilding as a whole. Um, now the next thing that I wanted to touch on is the upcoming Arnold UK wanted to give a preview of that. I've reviewed the lineup and I've pretty much narrowed it down to four contenders that I'd like to speak on. Um, Jamie being one of them and, and even further solidified now after seeing the showing, um, here in Italy. So um, I, I'm expecting the top four to be some combination of Martin Fitzwater, James Hollingshead, Mark Hector, and Jamie the Giant. Um, again, with Jamie's physique being such, a, such an oddball compared to the other three, and seeing the way that they've continued to judge him, I think that he'll probably wind up fourth in that, um, in that group. And there's no shame in that. Those are those are four really good bodybuilders. So I could see him being fourth. Mark Hector has had an incredible offseason and looks super impressive, crazy impressive. Um, I am wondering if he is still going to be just too slight in the legs to hang with both Martin and James. Martin and James, when I look at them, actually have um, some similarities to them where they just are bursting full with muscle and at their best can also bring some crazy conditioning. Um, and both physiques are quite complete um, where there's not anything um, missing. And even though Mark has undoubtedly brought everything up, including his legs, I do wonder when they all stand together, if it will still look too slight or if his upper body is just going to be so good, he'll be undeniable. It's tough to say until you see them stand next to each other. Um, but in my estimation, I would say that I have James and Martin battling it out one and two. And your guess is as good as mine. Um, I'm a fan of James, both his physique and, and who he is as a person um, and what he represents and how he carries himself. So I'm biased. Um, I do think that he has more, you know, these are some funny buzzwords in bodybuilding, but I think he has more density and a maturity to his muscle um, especially in from the front. I think Martin and James are both as peeled really as you can be when they're at their best from behind. Um, Martin still did look uh, in Texas phenomenal showing, but from the front, like the quads and the chest, I still felt like could have been dialed in a little bit more. And like when thinking about what James can bring, um, I think that both of them at their best, I think James – uh, squeaks out a close decision. Martin is second, Mark is third, and then Jamie is fourth. So we'll see, uh, 
we'll see how that that prediction comes comes back to haunt me or uh or otherwise so that's everything that's everything that i wanted to review in the world of bodybuilding now uh personally if you guys could please um like the video comment share it to friends uh, of course please subscribe to the channel i'm just now getting this rolling um anybody that's going to be watching this video knows what the deal is with youtube and the algorithm any of these different engagement forms help um and then as far as me personally for my own bodybuilding um anybody that follows and supports me on instagram might have seen that i announced recently that i have uh partnered with unbound and nutribio uh to come on to their team as a sponsored athlete which is um humbling and exciting. I'm, I'm super grateful for the opportunity. Um, I tell this to my clients and anyone that would ask, um, you know, and, and this is because I came from a company that um, manufactured their own products, third party tested their own products. I saw what that process was like and what that, uh, what it means to uphold that type of standard. Um, so then when it came time to, uh, choose a company that I was going to pair with, uh, for the first time as an athlete, it had to be a company that upheld those same standards. Um, and I really only found that with Nutribio. So, um, again, the majority of these companies, guys all have one manufacturer. They get their supplements made elsewhere and then they slap a label on it and sell it to you. They're marketing companies. They're not supplement companies. Nutribio manufactures their own products on site here in New Jersey. Um, and then you can go to checkmysups.com, third party test it. There's no amino spiking. There's none of that red stone or uh, red con black stone lab shit going on. Um, you know, I, I put my name and my, my word behind them. Um, I recommend Nutribio products, unbound products to all my clients and anyone listening. So, uh, really excited. Uh, wanted to announce that and give them props. Uh, they're going to be supporting me through this next year, essentially, of prep uh, heading into 2023 North Americans. Um, and with that said, that was the first episode of This Week in Bodybuilding. Thanks to anybody that followed along. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, the whole nine yards. Uh, the codes for Nutribio, JP10 and JPUB for the Unbound stuff. Um, this is week one. And I'm out.